Warm weather has many Mainers eager to enjoy the water, but that coincides with an uptick in drownings and water rescues. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry joins us now to tell us why the Coast Guard says this may be happening. Jackie? Hey, Pat, yeah, there have been five people who have either been rescued or recovered over the past few days, including a fisherman who fell off his boat overnight and his body was recovered this morning. The cause for that is still under investigation. But the officials of the U.S. Coast Guard say that it might not be warm enough to go out into Maine's waters yet. The water is so cold, you can expose yourself to something called cold shock. Commander Luan Kellenbach says because the water is still so cold, your limbs can stop working and you can get tired faster when you're swimming in lakes or in the ocean. The definition of cold water is anything below 70 degrees. So here in Maine and New Hampshire, I would say you're, you know, it's unlikely you're ever going to get to 70 degrees. Just over the last few days, five people were rescued or recovered from Maine's waters. Four of them died. It's a difficult situation for everyone. On Sunday, a man in his 30s drowned in the Saco River in Buxton. A day later, a 13-year-old girl was rescued from Cherry Pond. Her condition is still unknown at this time. Also on Monday, two men, ages 19 and 21, drowned in Mesolonsky Lake when the boat they jumped off drifted too far away from them. We spoke to the father of one of those victims, 21-year-old Brandon Breton. He was, Brandon was... Uh the best son and business partner and friend that we could ever ask for. Mike Brent adds that his family has had great support during this time. For others who are planning on heading out to the water, Commander Kellenbach says to be sure to wear a life jacket, tell someone where you're going, and if you can swim somewhere with warmer water temperatures, do so. I think this time of year, with the water being so cold, the only safe place is in a swimming pool. Coast Guard officials say that the calls they get the most are a, a boat like a canoe or a kayak that has gone adrift and there's no one on it. They say in order to be sure that people get their property back or they are found safely to get one of these tags where you can put your name and phone number. That way they can call to make sure that you are safe and send the canoe or kayak back to you. Pat. Good advice. Thanks, Jackie.